ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாய்ராம் வெல்கம் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டு அ பிராண்ட் நியூ எபிசோட் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்பைரிங் கிளாஸ் ரூம்ஸ் டுடே லெட் அ ஸ்டெப் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஆல் தீஸ் வால்ஸ் விச் ஆர் பைண்டிங் அஸ் அண்ட் சிட் இன் த லேப் ஆஃப் நேச்சர் அண்ட் லேர்ன் த லெசன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார் தேட் வி ஹாவ் டு கான்டாக்ட் அ டீச்சர் ஹூ டீல்ஸ் வித் நேச்சர் ஸோ கம் லெட் அஸ் மீட் அவர் சோஷியல் ஸ்டடீஸ் மேம் Welcome to this episode of Inspiring Classrooms. Sarah Mimdaman, Sarah. How are your daughters doing? Fine. I remember when you joined the school, they were your two little girls yes. too. Now they have come up very well. <laughs> My entire family is so happy that how they have grown up still now in all the ways because of everything about, because of our school. That's so nice, ma'am. Uh, both are really very dear to us. <laughs> and uh, you also started off taking for the primary classes yes, no yes. and uh, now madam is handling uh, high school she takes social so uh, i would request you to take a topic today when you are going to explain choose something that will be interesting for all ha huh? can you think of a topic yes ma'am today we'll be seeing about two important topics one is a starting point of the other one is like the dot and another one is like the line my god <laughs> you started off with a riddle actually but what are those what are those two things first uh, that we are going to see about the moving block of ice s it's glacier the second one that we are going to see about river wow i think these two things are interconnected also and they will be very interested to know about it that's a very good choice of topic but we all are very eager to learn more about it can you explain yes now Let us explore more information about the glaciers. Usually, glaciers are found in a snow field and it's definitely called as rivers of ice. So, it's really interesting to know that the glaciers are the largest reservoir of fresh water on this planet. In fact, it stores 75% of world's fresh water. So, When you look at the glaciers it is actually of two types the first one is alpine glaciers which comes from the mountain side and it moves from the mountain to the valleys the second one is the continental ice sheets it spread over large areas this glacier no it is very very dense and compact when you see it you may think it is very light but it is very very dense and always blue in color this glacier is actually hundreds and thousands of years old and therefore it is valuable resource especially when you think about the climatic change happen in the world do you know which is world's largest glacier the world's largest glacier is obviously located in antarctica it is the lambert glaciers i told it is the largest glacier let me tell the exact measurement it is 100 km wide 400 km long and 2.5 km deep we have learned about glaciers now let us proceed to know more about a landform that begins as a glacier yes it's a river Of course not all the rivers have glaciers as origin the starting point is where a river begins its flow that is its source its source is called as head water the head water can come from rainfall or snow melts in the mountains but it can also bubble up from the ground water or form at the edge of a lake or a large pond The other end of the river is called its mouth where it empties into larger body of water such as a lake or ocean the water that flows in the river is fresh meaning that it contain less than 1% salt humans use rivers for irrigation in agriculture for drinking water for transportation to produce electricity through hydroelectric dams and for leisure activities like swimming and boating ma'am your explanation was very very apt i'm sure even the primary kids understood what is a glacier and river but uh, of course none of our classes will become complete unless we incorporate a value hmm? 
try to tell a value which will be very small and very simple so that our children can directly take and apply it in their lives. Okay? Sure. Be like a river, forever moving, have a goal and move towards it. Wow, that's very nice. It is so much like the landform that you spoke about. River is forever moving. We should always uh, be changing and moving towards the goal. That's very apt. At this point, I'm also reminded of a beautiful explanation that Bhagavan gave. Swami says that the river which originates somewhere in the hills obviously wants to merge with the ocean and it keeps moving ahead. But at that time when it is going to merge into the ocean, what happens is that the ocean does not accept the river. The river is obviously very haughty and it is uh, a very flamboyant, very fast and furious and it tries to merge into the ocean. But the ocean will not accept that. So it is like the individual trying to merge with the God. So at that point of time when the river will come down, bend itself with humility, that is when the ocean will come over it and embrace it with love. So let us also not merely keep moving but move ahead with humility so that when we offer, whatever we do, when we offer it to God, it will be accepted by Him. So I am sure many more things come to your mind my dear friends. Kindly take the effort to put the values that come to your mind in the comment section. One more thing, I, am, I would like to thank all my dear students who are there watching these, uh, these episodes and giving your valuable comments. Uh, keep up the good work children. And this is one way we all could connect uh, after starting this YouTube channel. So let this SBB family grow. Let me remind people who have not subscribed to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button for notification. Stay tuned. Thank you. Stay excited.